In this video of trigonometry, we are going to focus on angle of elevation and depression. You will find this on page 454 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Angle of elevation and depression. The angle of elevation is the angle from the horizontal upwards to a line of sight from the observer to some point of interest from the horizontal to the aeroplane up that angle the eyes are raised the angle of depression is the angle from the horizontal downwards to the line of sight the eyes drop and look down this is the angle of depression okay in this diagram, the angle of elevation is equal to the angle of depression. So if I make a horizontal line there and then, then this will be alternate angles. Therefore, this angle of elevation will be equal to this angle of depression in this sketch. Let's look at an example. A tower BC is 30 meters high and stands on level ground. From A, the angle of elevation of C is 35. Find the distance AB. So I just make a sketch out of the practical situation. But now I'm still going to use my 90 degree triangles because I sit with an angle there, can I show you, of 90 degrees. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to, I'm going to find, okay, find the distance AB. It's still so cut to all because I have one side and one angle. And can you still remember, I'm standing at the angle given. So this is my opposite, this is my adjacent, and this is my hypotenuse. So basically, if I'm looking at the sides involved, because I'm, I'm going to find AB, so this is the one they want, this is the one given. So if I think of the word so, ka, to, a, it's opposite and adjacent, so it will be tan. So tan 35, it's 30 over opposite, opposite is 30, adjacent is AB. And can you remember if the, a, if the unknown was at the bottom, it ends in a division. So it's that, let's just write it. Okay. It's that 30 divide 10, 35. And then I press it on the calculator and this is my final answer. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 17. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. I think I'm just going to move it up a little bit. A flat bow PZ is 10 meters high. Okay, it's always good to write everything in the sketch. So that is 10. X, P and Y are on level ground. That's a straight line. From Y, the angle of elevation of Z, so from Y to Z, that is 32. Okay. From X, the angle of elevation of Z is 50. Okay. Find the distance from X to Y. Okay. Now it's actually like I'm going to, and I think I'm going to redraw that triangle for you. How is that? I prefer to do it in white. Okay, it's just a sketch. So now I'm starting to fill in. This was the 50. Ooh. This was the 32. This was Z. This was X. This was P. And this was Y. And this distance was 10. Now, first work in this triangle, and I'm going to mark it. And then you find this one. <clears throat> so if I'm going to find 
uh, this one, so I'm, I'm standing there, I name the sides. This is my opposite, over the 90, because that's 90, is my hypotenuse, and this is my adjacent. I'm looking for this one, XP, so this is the one look, and I have this one, this one is out. So what function do I use? I, I'm going to use tan of 50, is going to be opposite over adjacent, the opposite is going to be 10, the adjacent is going to be 50. Then I press on my calculator, uh, okay, no, 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 sorry, I made a mistake there, let me just redo, <laughs> I'm taking the angle again, XP. If the, this is the side, if the unknown is at the bottom, so it's going to be XP, then it's the vision. So it's going to be 10 divide 10, 50. And that is going to give me an answer of 8.391. Okay, take it a little bit more than three significant figures. Now, I'm going to take another color. I'm going to find this one. So I'm standing there. This is still going to be my opposite. This is my adjacent. And this is my hypotenuse. So it's again opposite and adjacent. So it will be again tan. 32 is opposite over adjacent. So P Y equals 10 divide tan 32. Okay, let's just... Then I press it on my calculator and I'm going to get 16.00. And now I want XY, so therefore, XY is going to be that 8.391 plus that 16. Point zero, zero, and that will give me a final answer of 24, three significant figures, 24.4, and that was all in meters. Okay, and that's how I do it. Let's move on. Okay, so if I look at the next one, from A, the angle of depression, so from A, remember it's always from the horizontal, so you must draw a horizontal line, is 54, just like that. And D, it is um, 54, and of D, it is 39. Okay, so that is 39, that one is 54. So it's almost like you're going to that whole one and, and that little one. And now, um, Find BC. BC. So f first, I'm going to work in this one. So if I want to find BC, I'm just going to let's quickly see what I'm going to do. So do not use triangle ADC. There is not a 90 degree in it. So don't don't work in that triangle. Do you see that? Angle of depression is angle from a horizontal line and down. Use alternate angles to get angle ACB. So A, oh, it seems to me this line is out here. C, B, A, C, B. So if that is 54, that one will be 54. Okay, so if I want to find BC, um, I'm just going to quickly see. I, I'm working with this one. I'm standing there. Can I show you? So this is my opposite. This is my adjacent, and this is the one I want. So it's again tan. Uh, if the unknown is on top, then I then, know uh, the unknown is at the bottom, then it's the division sum, and that will be my answer. And then DC, DC, but now if I were going to work out DC, again bring it now down, and, and it's almost like leaving out, just work in this, this one there. 
So if I'm going to first get DB, so again, I'm standing here. Can I show you again? This is my opposite. This is my adjacent. So it's again tan. And it's opposite over adjacent. And then I, it's again the unknown at the bottom, and I divide, and I get this. But now I want DC. DC, that little bit. But I have that long one, and I have that one. So I just take the long one, and I subtract that number A. So the long one minus the A, and I get my answer. And then the next one, the last one here, AD. Let's just see where is AD. AD. Now, in this case, you can just, you have the 39, uh, you have the 24, and, and you just want to get this one. So it's opposite over hypotenuse, which you can use, and that will give you sin. And then um, I'm just going to say, to get the unknown is still at the bottom, so it's still division, and I just get my answer. Okay, so it's just working in more than one 90 degree triangle but keep to 90 degree triangles. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 18 number one. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. A boy is flying a kite with a string of length of 60 meters. Okay, so always fill it in. That string. If the string is taught to the angle of depression from the guy kite, and that is going to be 71. Okay, now always remember, oh, I must work with straight lines. So it means that that angle, that angle, uh, depression is 71. But remember, you can bring it down parallel lines with alter, so that angle will also be 71. Okay. How high is the kite above the ground? Now, they want this one. Can you just get a straight line? Okay. So this is what they want. They want this one. Okay. So basically, I'm ending up, and I can maybe just draw it to you now, after I have, ooh, straight line. Okay. So I'm going to find that angle is now 71. Ooh, let's just get it. That is X. Uh, this was 60. Uh, how high is the kite above the ground? And that's what I have. So if I'm going to name the sides, don't forget you are standing here. So this will be my opposite. This is my 90. So this is my hypotenuse. And this is my adjacent. Now who's playing the game? This two. So what? So right so. Can you already see so opposite of hypotenuse? So it's going to be sin. Just want to use another color. Sin of 71. And sin is always opposite over hypotenuse. So what is the opposite? X. What is the hypotenuse? 60. And if the X is on top, it, if the unknown is on top, it's a multiplication sum. So it's 60 multiply sin 71. And that will give me an answer of 56.7 meter. Okay. And that's how <coughs> you do the angle of depression in this example. You can try another a few of this example. This is also very good examples of angle of depression and evaluate. Why can you believe it? Angle of depression and angle of elevation. Okay.